Man, that logo is the worst logo I think I have ever seen. I do not know what they were thinking. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to do a deep dive into the VV logo. No, actually, I'm not. I, uh, I obviously have my opinions on it, um, love or hate it, but uh, no, that's not actually what I'm going to discuss today. Today, we're going to talk about my thoughts on VV, uh, what the logo uh, represents, and really, you know, kind of what I'm thinking about and, uh, and how I think, uh, at least I'm going to approach it over the next couple months. So let's talk about it here. It's interesting. Obviously, we had our uh, community update. VV does that once every couple months. Uh, it's good. It's great. Now, the logo itself, you know, I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. Um, there's a lot of rumors around, you know, did they have to do it because, you know, it looked too much like other logos. Um, why did they do a rebranding? Was this a waste of time? Uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Now, personally, I don't really love the logo. Um, it's kind of like off-centered. And for some reason, maybe because I'm more of a symmetrical guy or I don't know. But uh, that kind of bothers me a little bit, but you know, it, it'll be fine. It, it'll grow on me. The colors and other things, they don't, they don't bother me uh, either. So, but uh, I look at it more of what does it mean from a, you know, 10,000 foot level. And, um, you know, something that I have said multiple times on this channel and a lot of other people have said is, you know, kind of when is marketing, when are they going to do that? And I think we all know that even when they quote unquote turn on the switch or whatever it might be, and really they have done marketing, right? They've, it's just maybe not in the manner in which or more sustained that we wanted. It's going to take a while. You can't just, you know, do something generally speaking to get someone to buy your product. They always say you need to, you know, they need to see it in, you know, five to seven different ways. Um, and before they start, you know, it kind of hits them and they're like, Hey, obviously I want to take a look at this. And, uh, and so that has begun, and uh, and that's exciting. Um, really, it must have begun months ago because you know the branding and all the things that we're seeing now obviously took months. Um, and you know, there's a lot of quote unquote masters that they have to you know obey. You know, they are a international company, so you know they've got to make sure in all these different markets they come up with a logo that doesn't you know offend anybody, right? Um, they're looking at you know different genders. They're looking at different cultures. Uh, they're trying to see, which is difficult. You know what are what's you know something that's going to be uh, interesting to people. You know years from now, and so obviously a heart is a more iconic icon that people identify with. And I always think of when you are coming up with branding and other things, it's not really for us. And when I say that is because I kind of know. I think I know. Generally speaking, to people who are watching this channel at this point is people that know VV um, are kind of uh, diehards now because I think anybody that had any any issues with it has probably left long ago and that's okay. But the logo and the branding is trying to speak to the people that don't know what VV is, that don't know, you know, what crypto is or they're, they're, or they're um, you know, scared of it. And so for me, the first part of branding is always the emotion and when you look at the heart and you look at the colors, they use the, that soft gradient, all these types of things, it's inviting. Um, it's soft. And so regardless of those particular pieces, I, I think that is in the right direction because they're, of course, doing this big push to invite people in. You know, are they doing that right? Are they doing that wrong? I don't know. We'll base, we'll, you know, this is the journey, right? This is the journey that we are all on together and it's, you know, Sometimes it's rocky, but it'll be interesting to see. And we'll have numbers around that from the various people that do great work like VV Fox and Puddin' Cheeks, etc. And so we will see if their efforts are, uh, are, are working, right? So what I want to talk about more is, once again, kind of trying to not get caught up in the weeds, but look at, you know, what does this mean for VV uh, from a more 10,000 foot perspective and then kind of bring it down to us as individuals. And so from a 10,000 foot perspective, you can see, at least I remember I did this video, it was called Three Criticisms, I'll link it below, of Vivi, and I did that about six to eight months ago, and I talked about how they need better project planning, and they beat, need a more sustained marketing plan, and we're seeing that. So at the community update, they had Mitch, who's their new kind of product manager, project manager, whatever you want to call him, and you can see he's really taking ownership of that. Um, he you know, supposedly has a lot of experience, 
He sounds really good. He looks really good. So we'll see what happens there. But uh, you like to see a person who's stepping up, taking responsibility. Not that Dan or David haven't in the past, but uh, you know he's putting himself, his face out there, and uh, and that's all we can ask of any of any leader, right? And so that'll be interesting to see if they can really start um, delivering on some of the pieces that they have uh, mentioned. They did deliver on the search bar, which is great. And you know, of course, we're always going to want more. But it was so bad, as we know, that, you know, you got to, even as I said, they're trying to bring in new users. They got to be able to put in Spider-Man and get some Spider-Man and try and figure it out. And you can do that now. And it shows comics. So I, I definitely like that as well. Um, I know there are some particular pieces of the market that have kind of gone up. We don't know. Are people, you know, are people buying? Are people not buying? But you'll also note that um, there are a number of now Twitter um, bots that are showing when different things um, are sold. And that's because a lot, I think someone says at least 60 to 70% of the metadata is now in IMX for a lot of the tokens. So we can, we can really see what's going on there. Okay, so the last thing I would say um, over the year that I'll be watching is, uh, is us, the community. And so a lot of what I try to do and focus on is, is kind of like what I can do. You know, I can't, you know, I can't affect the logo. You know, I can't, you know, all these other things. But as I am involved with different things, I'm involved in a lot of things, maybe too many things. But, you know, what can I do, you know? And that's what I would say to you is how do you want to participate in this community? Just going for the drops and watching, that's, that's fine. That's great. Being, a, being part of the community is great. Do you want to do more than that? Do you want to, you know, and we need everybody. Like, do you want to have a blog that's very critical of Vivi, you know? you know, talking about the different things that, you know, where they're hypocritical, talking about the different things that where they're slow. That's, we, that's valuable. A lot of that is done on Twitter. And I think that is valuable. It holds the team accountable, holds the company accountable. Do you want to be a person that's um, informational? You know, I try to do a little bit of that, but, you know, you think about comics and crypto or other things, you know, they're very informational. Um, or do you want to be one that kind of leads the discussion and brings in experts? That's like NFT pirates. Do you want to just have a lot of passion and then, you know, kind of have a mixture of all of it? That would be like my collectibles or, or um, superstar money. So how do you want to participate as a person? Are you, do you want to run a website? Do you want to, are you participating in the Twitter spaces? Do you want to run your own Twitter spaces? Um, do you, are you a, are you a guy person who likes to make uh, crazy things in the vault and, and, and create videos of that and show those off? Cause that's, those are spectacular and lots of fun. And I think that finding your own way in terms of being creative with the collectibles or with the community or whatever it might be. Maybe you're a person who just wants to set up, you know, um, gatherings. Whatever your thing is, I think that's how you can contribute to the community. And then it's, you know, I always talk about these three things as part of collecting. One is, hey, this is cool. I want to buy it low and I'm going to sell it high. That is kind of like what everybody, and I think in a weird way, kind of gets into collecting, the investing part of it. And then the next step is like perhaps collecting things that you have, you know, uh, a nostalgic emotion towards, you know, you saw this as a kid or you really love this TV show or whatever it might be. So you're collecting that. And so that has more emotional attachment because, you know, you know, of your life. And then there's the last thing, which is the combination of maybe something that's nostalgic, but you have an experience with somebody and that collectible. And that really magnifies it all. So in other words, maybe uh, somebody gave you the collectible, maybe somebody, maybe you did something you, you read that comic with your kid together, and so now that comic is super valuable to you personally. So I think as we move forward, um, and of course the Viviverse, um, I think will assist us, but not necessarily. I mean, we have all these different in-person events and where people have made great connections. Obviously, Twitter people are making great connections. So those experiences with the collectibles are really what magnifies it all, and that makes it really valuable for people. And, uh, and so I think each of us have got to look at how are we um, really getting involved and, uh, and really every time that I've done that in a variety of different things throughout my life, it's always come back to me and, and made it much more of an enjoyable experience and, and really something very memorable. So that's what I look at for the year is this kind of their big push to get new users, but really then more at a personal level. What is my plan in terms of my involvement uh, with VV Digital Collecting, etc.? Um, I've really enjoyed it so far. I appreciate everybody who's been watching my uh, videos as well. Um, until the next one, take care. Ooh.